Hello, this is Sarah Meehan with Concentris, and today I am back again to share another short and sweet tip related to the 2019.2 release. And this one I am so excited about. It uh, has to do with workflows, and in particular, the ability to execute workflows on the sublist level. So, what that means is uh, historically, you've not been able to do a lot of line level type uh, workflow triggers. So for example, um, the, the scenario I'm gonna walk through today, I am going to trigger a user error on a particular item, which has historically not been possible. So this is a, a big development and I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna start by going to customization, workflows, workflows and new. And I'm actually going to build out this whole workflow start to finish um, as part of this short and sweet demo because it is actually very, very simple. So I'm going to call this gift certificate notification. And basically what I am going to do is let users know that when they add a particular gift certificate item to a sales order, that that item is only available for sale in the US. So that's the scenario I've come up with, but you know this has wide, wide applications. I'm going to apply it to my transaction record type and sales order specifically. I'm just going to go ahead and release it for the purposes of this demo. I only care about triggering it on create for this demo, but you could also do it when a record is updated. I'm going to save. And this is going to be a single action, single state workflow. I'm going to hit new action. And I want to return a user error. Specifically, I want it after the field is edited. And the field that I'm looking for is the sublist item field, or sublist items, and the field is the actual item on the line. So basically, what I'm saying is when a user edits the line item, I want this user error to display, but I only want it to display in a certain scenario, and that is if the item on the line is any of my $25 or $50 gift certificates. And I'm just going to add a quick pop-up note saying that this item is only available for US customers. So that's it. That's all I had to do to set it up. At this point, I'm going to create a new sales order. For my ABC tank company. And once this reloads, I'm going to start by adding another item. So anything that is not a gift certificate with the expectation that this workflow should not trigger. So I'm gonna add this item and enter the amount and then hit add, no error. Now, if I instead add one of my gift certificate items, I get this pop-up, item is only available for US customers and I cannot proceed until I have clicked this. And I can enter my amount now if it applies or I can remove it if I know that it no longer applies and I can see this is a, an Australian customer so I know this item does not apply to them. So I am very excited about this. This has a ton of possibilities. Um, this is just one. And I hope uh, showing it to you in action kind of lights the creative fires um, for possibilities. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching.